this should have been a great time to be Amazon. Their billion dollar investment, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, should have been hailed as a masterpiece by audiences and critics alike, and it should have been an undisputed global hit. Instead, while it is getting reserved praise from most establishment critics, it is also getting a beating from the honest critics, and it is getting absolutely savaged by the audience. Making matters worse, despite proclamations of success, a case can be made that the Rings of Power actually underperformed in its first week. And now, just to add insult to injury, Elon Musk is raking it over the coals on Twitter for the entire world to see. This is not a great time to be Amazon. In this editorial, I will begin with exploring why the Rings of Power is in fact not a success before seeing how Elon Musk is tearing it a new one and what may come of that. On September 3rd, establishment publication Deadline Hollywood published an article with the celebratory headline, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Forges Biggest Premiere Viewership Ever for Amazon Prime Video, where it was said that. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is the biggest thing Amazon Prime Video has ever done, and it looks like the TV series based on J.R.R. Tolkien's writing has delivered big time. Well, it kind of had to, given the budget. Launching with two episodes in 240 countries and territories across the globe on September 1st. The J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay co-created Rings of Power snared more than 25 million viewers in its first day, according to the Jeff Bezos founded streamer. With some very big bucks behind the Rings of Power, that global audience of over 25 million is the best and biggest premiere that Amazon Prime Video has had in its 15 year history. Now granted, that sounds like a huge win, it really really does, but there is more to it. First of all, as pointed out by our good friend Mexican Iron Man, an accountant with Hollywood experience, in our September 5th livestream, which you can see both in full, as well as select clips from on our live archives channel, link is in the description. 25 million is an awfully nice round number. In fact, it is such a suspiciously nice round number, so much so that there is every reason to question how much they had to round up to get to it. As pointed out by Valiant Renegade, another good friend and investment banker in that same livestream, 25 million is also the same number of people which reportedly saw House of Dragon in its first week. Funny how those two numbers should overlap so perfectly. The big difference though is that the House of Dragon numbers is for the US alone, while the Rings of Power number is worldwide. Also, as Script Doctor and Culture Casino pointed out, still in that same livestream, Amazon didn't say 25 million different profiles had registered views, they said it was seen by 25 million different viewers, as in 25 million different individual people. That leaves the question, how many viewers, as in how many individuals, how many family members and friends, do they assume are watching each individual profile? One? Two? Three? Five? I don't know, because they won't say. But with circumstantial evidence that the Rings of Power will auto-play after other programming on Amazon, thereby boosting the numbers. One can only conclude that with an assumed 25 million individual viewers, there were a lot fewer user profiles than that actually viewing. And this is worldwide, so Amazon cannot be happy with the actual numbers they are getting. And they will be even less happy with Elon Musk hijacking what should have been their celebratory news cycle. When Elon Musk on September 3rd tweeted a picture from Frank Herbert's Dune, many assumed it was in reference to his desire to go to the desert planet of Mars, but it may have been a dig at his modern day space race rival, Amazon owner Jeff Bezos. What certainly was, was his tweet of September 5th, which read, Tolkien is turning in his grave. Musk is not wrong. Based on Tolkien's extensive and recorded correspondence, we can be fairly certain that he would have hated the Rings of Power. 
I have myself maintained that if Tolkien came back to life and saw the Rings of Power, he'd die again. Not content with that though, Elon Musk went further, following that up with, Almost every male character so far is a coward, a jerk, or both. Only Galadriel is brave, smart, and nice. Again, this is a fairly astute observation, and for Amazon, it is particularly damaging that Elon Musk is the one making it. Let's see why. Amazon has committed to five seasons of The Rings of Power, which will cost them a billion by the time all is said and done. A big chunk of that has already been spent on production, and another big chunk of that has been spent on marketing worldwide. Part of that marketing budget has been spent on publications and influencers which further the message that if you oppose this, you are a Rossocist, because there can be no other reason why you would be against this. Unless you're a Tolkien purist, I guess. That might give you a pass if some publications are to be believed. Well, Elon Musk, one of the most followed individuals on the planet, just shot that narrative to hell, telling the world that Amazon's show does indeed suck. That kind of negative promotion there is no coming back from. Amazon will still make five seasons of The Rings of Power, as per their contract, but they will be hemorrhaging money doing so. And that will influence both their own future actions, as well as those of the rest of the industry. The Rings of Power may soon serve as a warning of what not to do, but that's what Amazon gets for proceeding with the franchise they only have a tiny fraction of the rights for, and then handing it off to activists posing as creatives without any experience that can prepare them for this undertaking. So, do you think Amazon can turn this around? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments.